Even when you feel low, you can still go Even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never answer to no man, I still go Go, go Hustle out, hustle every single day I'll be making moves till I'm buried in my grave uh, To the system, I don't wanna be a slave I've been doing shit my way, uh, or the highway And in the driveway, it's a nice range Cause I grind through the climb, I invite pain You'll never hear me, bitch, nah, I don't complain Just gotta flip the switch and you can go and obtain Anything you want, anything you need Your mind's got the key ingredient, it's belief uh, They'll see with the negativity but I just slide right by that energy uh, Even when you feel low, you can still go Even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never answer to no man, I still go Go, 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 go Hi everyone, today I'm gonna teach you guys uh, how to improve your English vocabulary So, in case you don't get it, please don't worry, you know Rewatch it, you should be good, ok? Salut mes amis, j'espère que vous allez très bien. Mbote na bandeko ni suppose ko lananga, lelo toko travail na biso na vocabulaire. Alors, eza a vocabulaire ni ya anglais, so zo comprendre te, na za pona wo ede bino. So guys, um, if you take a look, uh, here what I have done, I want you guys to learn, ok? I want you guys to master about the, the government. So I'm gonna explain about the government, different type of government we have. Okay? So uh, we have the federal government, we have the service Canada, we have the provincial government, we have uh, service Ontario, we have the municipal government, we have the city government. This so don't get confused, okay? I'm here to help. So when I say the federal government, um, you know when you're dealing with um. Let's say the visa, um, the embassy. You um, let's say you wanna move to Canada here to study as an international student, right? You have to apply for visa. So in that case, you're dealing with the federal government. So we have the Service Canada. You go there. Let's say if you wanna get your social insurance number, your um your passport okay now we have uh, the provincial government the provincial government deal deals with uh, let's say um hospital okay school we got the service canada uh, ontario let's say in case you know you wanna um, you wanna get your photo id or your drive license okay so here we're dealing with here is uh, the city government okay so this one we did let's say it's snowing okay outside and then they have to take the shovel there so they have to remove the snow okay so in that case we're dealing with the city government we come here so amy is a full-time employee at service canada Okay. Amy is a full-time employee at Service Canada. Okay. If you take a look here. Oh, what I can do when you take a look, it's look like the same thing, right? Abby is a full-time employee at the Service Canada, right? Now we can change that. We can change that. We can put also pi time. Okay, so we're gonna change it. So we can change that to pi time. Okay? We can put like this. Amy is a pi time employee at Service Canada. Okay. We can also change this one. Okay, Abby is a part-time employee at Service Canada. So, instead of a Service Canada, is 
Service Ontario, Service Canada and Service Ontario are not the same. Okay, so we have to be careful. Okay, Amy is a full-time employee at Service Canada. Amy is a part-time employee at Service Canada. Abby is a full-time employee at Service Ontario. Abby is a part-time employee at Service Ontario. Okay? So, Service Canada, let's say if you want to apply for a social insurance number, your passport, you go to Service Canada. Let's say you want to get your drive license. That one is a part of the Service Ontario. Or, uh, let's say the hospital or let's say um, yeah yeah so that's the part of the service Ontario even if you want to get your photo ID you go to service Ontario okay so here child welfare social work social worker social service work social service worker Child protection worker. Again, social work, social worker, social service work, social service worker, child protection worker. So, social work. This one is a program. Let's say you want to go to university to study social science. Social science, inside of the social science, you have social work, you have um, sociology, you have uh, anthropology, you have religion, you have psychology, inside of a uh, social science. Social work is a program. This one is a program, okay? So let's say you speak French. In French, we have a uh, section and option. So, uh, section is a social science. Now, option is social work. Okay. Now, social worker is a person. So, in this case, when you say social worker, let's say I work for immigration and you move to Canada. I can be, let's say, in some situation, maybe I'm your social worker, right? And let's say you work for the social, uh, let's say you work for uh, um, the city or uh, the provincial and you are part of uh, social assistance. I can be a social worker. Let's say you are, you are the people, let, you know when you and your wife fighting and then um, the government come to your place to take your child away? We call those people social worker, okay? So social service work is also a program. This one, this one you study this in college, this one university. So this one, when you go in college, uh, most of the time it's like two years or a year. Now, social service worker is, this one is a program. This one is a person. Now, the child protection worker is the person that, let's say you and your wife have a fight, they come to your place. Or maybe your, your wife have a past history. She didn't uh, look at the kid well and then she involved with them because of that. Yes, those people who come to take your kid away in Canada, we call them the child protection worker, okay? In Canada or US, even uh, UK, you're going to see them. They come in your place. Let's say your wife building the kid or you, you and your wife having a fight or an affair and then you guys divorce. Your, your wife has kid. So what's going to happen is the child protection worker going to come to your place. Even a hospital, we have them. Okay? So we call them the child protection worker. Or you can also call them the social worker. You can also call them the so social service worker. Okay? So you can call them this social worker, social service worker, and child protection worker. But in Canada, we use this a lot. Child protection worker, okay? In Canada. We have, here we got the centers. 
So, Anne is a social worker. Kevin is a social service worker. Abby is a child protection worker. Again, Anne is a social worker. Kevin is a social service worker. Abby is a child protection worker. Okay. We move on. The Canadian criminal justice system. We got criminal, criminal law, criminal court, criminal lawyer, criminal judge, charge, sentence. Okay. Now, criminal, in some situations, it's like a person. They say, oh, you are criminal. Criminal law is the law. Based on, sometimes you're going to hear, um, like, different country, they have a different law. And they have a different system. But in Canada, we say the criminal law. We have the criminal court. When you got arrested, and then you're going to go to criminal court. You don't go to the uh, uh, family court. No, it's the criminal court. It's different than uh, family court, okay? So, criminal court, criminal lawyer. If you got arrested, you need a lawyer. Your lawyer is a criminal lawyer. Now, the person who's going to sentence you is a judge. That judge is a part of the, he's a criminal judge. The charge, let's say you stole something, you beat your wife, you have a fight at work. So, they're going to charge you. The sentence, this one I'm not talking about when you write a sentence. No. Let's say they sentence you for two years, five years, ten years, twenty years. Okay? Here we got the police. Okay? So, police. Police men. Police women. Police officer. Probation. Probation officer. Now, in case you don't get it, I'm going to go slowly. Police. If you say the police is coming, the police is coming. Wrong. Police are coming. Okay? You, some of you may say, why? Why should I say police are coming? Remember, if you watch my the other video, I'm talking about the noun. We have a different type of noun. Watch my yard video, please. I'm talking about the noun. You're going to understand. Watch that video, okay? So, we have the police. We got the policeman. Uh, the pol if you say the policeman, it's okay. I understand. If you say the police women, it's okay. I got it. If you say the police officer, sound more uh, academic. Like you're on a high level. Okay? When you say the police officer in this case we use for both male and the female this day to be honest with you we don't use this a lot in canada if you move to canada say oh that's a policeman that's a police woman no we don't use it we don't use them no we say police officer we say this one this one a lot police officer sometimes you're gonna hear people say the cop okay the cop you're gonna hear people say this c-o-p c-o-p the cop okay like in Canada, even in state, they say a lot, uh, police officer. Okay, we don't say policeman or police women. No, this one we don't say it a lot anymore. No, if you say policeman, I understand it. If you say police women, I got it. But we say police officer. Okay, probation, probation officer. So what happened when you you got the sentence? When you got released from uh, prison? Or in jail, what's gonna happen is they're gonna put you on a probation. It depends, maybe a year, two years, three years after that. So you have to go see your probation officer. He's the one, he or she gonna know like how everything's going with you, this, 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 this. So they're gonna let them know. If you have a female one, they're gonna let the judge know like how everything's going with you, okay? So. When you get arrested after you got released, you're not done yet. That's how it goes in the Canadian system, even American. Some of you may say, what? Oh, my friends, that's how it goes. You may say, how do you know? I studied this in school. I took a police foundation before. 
I also took social uh social work in school. And then I also study um computer. So it's in case you want to know more about me, please read my website, okay? Or you can visit my website. Everything's there. We come here. My wife is a police officer. My ex is a probation officer. My former fiancé was sentenced to 400 years in prison. Again. Again. My wife is a police officer. My ex is a probation officer. My former fiancé was sentenced to 400 years in prison. Okay. Here we go. Government. We got state, family court, family judge, family lawyer, party, third party. Now, be careful. When you hear states, I'm not talking about United States. Be careful. What happened is um, the way it works in a family court, they have their own terminology. If you study, let's say, uh, economics, you're going to understand that you, they have their own terminology. If you study theology, you're going to understand also they have their own terminology. If you study computer, you're going to hear people talk about DNS, UDP. If you study uh, healthcare, you're going to hear they talk about um, uh, PSW, personal support worker. You're going to hear they talk about the nurse. You're going to hear about they talking about uh, family doctor, okay? So in this case, I'm talking about the government. I'm talking about the family court, okay? So when you hear about, um, you hear about states, don't think about United States. No, it's the government. When you hear about the family court, let's say you, you and your husband or your wife divorce and then, you want to see your kid. She say, no, you're not going to see my kid. They're mine. Or your wife want the kid. You say, no, they're my kid. They're not yours. What's going to happen when you guys have a problem? You guys going to go in the family court. Your husband have a lawyer. You have your lawyer. So instead of you going to the criminal court, you're going to go to family court. Okay? When you, when you are there, you're going to need a family lawyer, not a criminal lawyer. No. In, in, that, in this case, you're dealing with the family court, not the criminal one. No. When you go in the family court, you're not, you're not, uh, if you steal something, you're going to face the criminal court, not the family court. Okay? So, we got uh, state, family court, family judge, family lawyer, party. We got the third party. This one is like uh, let's say CAS Children's Aid Society so in Canada we have a uh, different type we have uh, the child welfare we call them uh, Children's Aid Society or the Catholic Children's Aid Society okay so they, they are the one that can be like the third party okay so we here we have uh, provincial government so it's we see in the same uh, same here, the part of the family court. So we have the parent, we got the mother, we got the father, we got the child custody, we got the share custody, we got the full custody, we got the legal aid lawyer, we got the private. This one is the private lawyer. So I'm gonna fix it, okay? Okay. So we have parent, mother, father, child custody, sure custody, full custody, legal aid lawyer, private lawyer. Again, parent, mother, father, child custody, sure custody, full custody, legal aid lawyer, private lawyer. Here we go. Parent, mother, father, 
if we if the, we put both of them here we put s okay if we put both of them we say parent that's we're gonna put s at the end here but in this case one only one okay mother parent uh, mother father child custody share custody full custody illegal a lawyer private lawyer so uh mother in this case can be like biological mother okay biological father child custody both of you both parents okay they're dealing with the child custody so if they have share custody means that um both of them they're gonna make a decision for that child so they have share custody if even if they have full custody most of the time if one of the parents have a full custody okay only one parent have that child but if they have a share custody it's a different story uh illegal aid lawyer if you have a legal aid lawyer let's say uh you are a newcomer okay you move to canada you are immigrant you're gonna need a lawyer and then the illegal aid lawyer illegal aid lawyer the government provide them for you so the government pay them to do the work for you okay so uh we have the private lawyer the private lawyer um you pay them you pay he or she to work for you okay let's say that i'm new to canada i have my own business i have my money guess what instead of getting a legal aid lawyer i'm gonna get a private lawyer so what happened to you some of you may say what the difference is between illegal aid lawyer and a private lawyer you see illegal aid lawyer work for the government okay so it's a little bit <laughs> because of the privacy i cannot say a lot of stuff here if you have the money go with the private lawyer okay the private lawyer gonna speed up the thing and then you should be good this one is good too it's good too but it's kind of fuzzy there so my ex-wife and i have share custody my wife passed away four years ago and she was a family lawyer an innocent man teaches a corrupt police officer a lesson again i'm gonna go slowly for you guys okay ma my ex-wife and i have share custody my wife okay so here i'm not saying my i'm not saying my ex girlfriend no i'm not saying my ex uh teacher no i'm saying my ex-wife and i have share custody my ex-wife passed away here passed away four years ago and she was a family lawyer here an innocent man teaches a corrupt this one it's come from corruption police officer a lesson okay so we come here all oh, the federal government we have immigration we have immigration law we have immigration worker we have immigration officer we have immigration lawyer we have immigration judge we have refugee we have newcomer we have international student we have uh, here we got the visa okay immigration immigration law immigration worker immigration officer immigration lawyer immigration judge refugee newcomer international student visa so immigration let's say you have an appointment you have to let's say you move to canada or us and then you have an appointment you have to go to immigration uh, office okay so we also have immigration law so if you are a refugee or newcomer so the law immigration law is designed to make sure that um you respect the law we have in canada and in this case you're gonna deal with immigration law let's say you come here you lie about the government that my account is this 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 and then maybe your account is okay 
that's you're gonna get into trouble because of that okay so immigration worker is the is like a, another way i can say is like a social worker okay the one who deal with your case okay so immigration officer same thing um immigration lawyer you need immigration lawyer let's say you move to canada you are new to canada uh you don't need a family lawyer no you need immigration lawyer you don't need a criminal criminal lawyer no because you are dealing with immigration okay immigration is not the part of a uh, family court no no immigration is not the part of uh, let's say you got a west state and you are, you're gonna go to the criminal court so you're not gonna go to the uh, um, criminal court or uh, family court no you're going to immigration office they also they also have their uh their court where you can go and then they're gonna question you this 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 when you go for the interview okay now we have refugee maybe you are refugee we got the newcomer newcomers we can use both for refugee if you move here as a businessman you're also newcomer right we have international student let's say you want to move to canada to study right you are international student and a visa you need a visa right so in, the, in my case i'm not a international student or no. i'm a canadian so we come here kevin is an immigration worker steve is an immigration lawyer steven is an immigration judge okay so one more time kevin is in here we link it an immigration worker steve is an immigration lawyer steven is an immigration judge huh high school college university public high school private high school public college private college public university private university again high school college university public high school public uh private high school public college private college public university private university okay here we go high school college in the states you're gonna hear also they say uh in the states you're gonna hear about uh the comment college okay so i didn't put it here so high school college university public high school private high school public college private college public university private university so some of you may say what the difference is between public high school and private here is run by the government here is a private maybe let's say it's um it's uh christian let's say you you are a member of a christian reform church they have their school it's called calvin christian school okay that's like private you pay when you go there and a private college is run by the government the private college is owned by let's say it's a owned by private sector okay let's say i have my own private college and people come in my car let's say you you did instead of you going to the public college you say you know what i'm gonna go to private college so in north america private college costs it, it's it's uh, a you're gonna pay a lot of money there okay they're also gonna provide you, you the right tool when you go there uh, same thing with uh public university it's run by the government public one the private by uh private sector okay so my biological sister is a university professor okay my former wife is a high school teacher my brother is a college professor again my biological sister is a university professor my former wife is a high school teacher my brother is a college professor okay so 
I'm gonna stop here for today. So thank you so much. In case you don't get it, please watch it a few times. You should be good. All right. So you guys take care. Bye bye. Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answered a no, man. I still go. Go, 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 go. Hustle out, hustle every single day. I'll be making moves till I'm buried in my grave. Through the system, I don't wanna be a slave.